Because if you happen to be missing strikes with a certain lure or presentation or not getting any strikes at all, you may be presenting a lure that is not easy for fish to go after based on their anatomy and the way that they feed. So we're going to be taking a look at the most popular inshore species of snook, trout, and redfish, but keep in mind this can be translated to other species as well based on how their mouths compare to these three species. So first let's take a look at snook. They have a longer lower jaw than their upper jaw. So this is more suited for ambush predators that are typically attacking their food from below, meaning the fish is holding on bottom and striking upwards. This jaw structure also allows the fish to have a much wider mouth, which can be suited for feeding upwards and directly in front of the fish. They will also feed off the bottom, but their main direction of, of attack is typically gonna be from underneath or straight ahead. So when it comes to lure selection and presentation, top water lures, subsurface lures, and also lures being retrieved just off the bottom can be more ideal when targeting snook. Now when we look at trout, they have a very similar jaw structure to snook. That lower jaw is elongated and sticks past their upper jaw, which is more suitable for attacking upwards at their prey or directly in front of them. Now if you've ever sight casted to a trout or a snook and let your lure sit on the bottom or let your bait sit on the bottom, you may have seen them sort of turn onto their side to grab your lure or bait and that is because the, this jaw structure just isn't best suited for feeding off the bottom. So just like with snook, the best lure uh, choices and presentations are going to be you know, top water, subsurface, and lures that are just off the bottom. Now lastly, we look at the mouth of a redfish. Notice it is quite different than that of a snook or a trout. That lower jaw is actually shorter than their upper jaw. This jaw structure is best suited for feeding off the bottom or directly in front of that fish. Now redfish are more of a scavenger than an ambush predator like uh, sea trout and snook. So they nose around on the bottom digging up crab, shrimp, and crustaceans and will also pick up scraps off the bottom. That's why cut bait fish is a great option when targeting uh, redfish, especially those bigger fish. Now, if you've ever had a redfish strike topwater, you may have noticed how they just about have their backs completely out of the water when they're about to strike that lure. And that's so that they can attack that topwater head on. Again, this is because of their jaw structure. So if you are missing strikes on topwater for redfish, you may want to stick to a lure or presentation that is subsurface. When all else fails, with redfish, keep your lure on the bottom or as close to the bottom as possible using a slow retrieve. So I hope this lesson has given a better understanding of how a fish's jaw structure affects their feeding behaviors. Again, understanding this can help in determining what lures to use and how to use them depending on the target species. If you have any additional questions, comments, or additional tips, please feel free to drop them down below.